One way to think about human history is as the process of extracting balls from a great urn, a great urn of inventions. The vulnerable world hypothesis is the hypothesis that there is at least one black ball in the urn. In other words, there is some level of technological development at which civilization gets devastated by default. Normally, we humans are not very good at thinking ahead. We kind of see what happens and react and learn and adapt. Uh, we have survived risks from nature for hundreds of thousands of years. The human species has been around for a long time. That obviously doesn't work with existential risk because you only get one try, right? One existential catastrophe, game over. We have all of these billions of potential germination points, planets, and yet, so far, a total number of zero extraterrestrial civilizations that have come to our planet or, or made themselves visible to us. I say that this would be very bad news if we were to discover independently evolved life on Mars. What might we need to do to prevent AIs and digital minds themselves from coming to harm. We would have to come up with new principles, new political constitutions, new ways of working together that would actually make sense in a society where you have to find some way to coexist. I'm Nick Bostrom. 